What's up guys and girls, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here, and I want to give you an overview of the new Xbox 360 dashboard update that went live today, August 11th. And there's a lot of big exciting things here, so let me go ahead and walk you through some of the main ones. The first one that uh, Microsoft announced was the Avatar Marketplace. It gives you the ability to customize your digital self. So let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. So there's my avatar. You can see I got the Nirvana look with the 70s stash. Pretty badass, I know. I will go down to Customize Avatar. And essentially what you can do here is you can customize, well, your little digital person with apparel from fashion designers. And you can also purchase interactive props like a little Halo Warthog, for example, that'll spin around you. And you can also earn avatar reward items from playing games. So let me show you what this looks like. So you go down to Marketplace and it loads up here and here you've got your marketplace you can view it by some adidas stuff star wars clone wars i'm not even going to try and pronounce that todiku all most popular let's go to most popular and see what we got splinter cell outfit you can look like a badass ninja i can be uh... star wars and the rebel assault here give myself a little bit of a camera you see the camera's interactive, it kind of jumped around, I can play with it. I okay, saw some new kicks, got some Adidas there. Let's say I want to be in Star Wars. Some of these things are going to cost you uh, Microsoft points, some of them are not. So you can see right here, this one is going to cost 80 Microsoft points. I have no idea what their weird conversion is. Um, but know that some of these things are going to cost you. Some of them you can earn by playing games. Um, but definitely be aware that none of this, of course, is free. So let's take a look at some of the other things that we got here. There's a Bioshock helmet. Jedi shirt order. Um, so yeah, I downloaded it. So anyway, you guys can see sort of what is, uh, what is here and what your choices are. So let's go back. Check out some lifestyle collections. And you can view some of the big brands here. Let's check out Adidas. And you can see some of the stuff they have. So I can view a Treff Trucker Hurt, <laughs> Treff Trucker Hat, and uh, I can look a little debaggy. But uh, if that's your look and style, then there you go. You can download it and you can play around with it. So let's go ahead and move right along to the other big update. We'll go ahead and exit this. And watch your little avatar will do a dance when you're done. Woohoo! Point to the sky. The next big update are games on demand. And these aren't just demos or just old Xbox games for the original Xbox. These are full featured Xbox 360 games. And this is actually really, really cool. And Microsoft is the first company that's actually allowed you to download full modern console new games. Let me show you what this looks like. So go to Game Marketplace. and we can scroll on up to this new games on demand and if you select it you can pick just from a nice selection of Xbox 360 games some of them are a little bit old some of them you might not want to play uh, like Star Wars the complete saga the Lego edition I think it's a really fun game and I really liked it Call of Duty 2 a great game Bioshock I haven't played but I've heard a lot of great things about it And you download these directly to your hard drive so you may want to run out and update your hard drive if you got an older Xbox 360 with a smaller hard drive because these are going to take a decent amount of space. Let's take a look at one of them. So I haven't played Bioshock. That'd probably be a fun one to play. Go ahead and click it. So you can buy it, you can get demo, and you can see that it costs just about 30 bucks for the game, um, which is not bad. It does save remotely onto your hard drive. So, you know, if you're interested and you want to do games on demand, you're sitting at home and you really want to play something, they haven't played yet for 30 bucks you get a digital copy which is not bad considering most games are gonna run you around 50 bucks all these are a little bit older so maybe you can find them um, actual a uh, physical disc for the same price but it's nice to have the choice and I assume that something like this is gonna get updated much more regularly and I wouldn't be surprised to see even new games be available for download on uh, the day they're released that's certainly nothing that's been announced yet but it would definitely seem like a more natural progression for things to follow so let's go ahead and check out some of the other things. The next thing that we now have are user ratings. You can rate games and features and you can rate them on a five star system and you can sort by rating. So if you're looking for five star games, you can search for five star games. So we can actually check out, we can go back to games on demand. 
you can see top rated. Now you can see how these games are, are all rated here. You can see that we've got a five star system. So here's, let's see, go back to Bioshock. And you can see that's got a lot of rankings up there. Right above the price, it's got uh, almost five stars up there. So that's kind of neat. Uh, the next thing that they updated was improved party invites. Now you can launch a party with just one click and you can pull up a game right from the achievements uh, browser, which is kind of neat. And they also just increase a lot of speed, so they claim, and a lot of stability. You can now have, I believe, more than 100 friends, which was a limitation of the older uh, architecture, so that is quite nice as well. Although that may not have been uh, fully rolled out, but that is in Microsoft's plans. The next thing to know is, and one of the things I liked about the 360, and one of the big reasons I got it, was for Netflix On Demand. If you were holding out hope that Netflix On Demand would come to the PS3, would come to the Wii, you are going to be waiting a very long time because with this update, they now tell you that Netflix is exclusive to the Xbox 360. And not exclusive like it was yesterday when it wasn't on any other console, exclusive like Microsoft probably bought the rights to have the uh, console uh, streaming ability for Netflix. Definitely something to keep in mind. Anyway guys, I just wanted to give you a sort of short, sort of in-depth walkthrough of the new Xbox uh, dashboard update. If you own an Xbox, turn your console on, it'll prompt you to download it. Seems to be worthwhile, even just for some of the cool new features. Hope you enjoyed. What do you guys think of the update? Any features that you want that you didn't get? Is it worthwhile for you? Are you excited about anything? You know, leave a comment or a video response. And for exclusive content, check me out at Twitter, twitter.com slash john lakers do a ton of giveaways and exclusive content over there, so check it out. And to learn more about Techno Buffalo, check out technobuffalo.com or twitter.com slash technobuffalo. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.